Hi, I'm Dr. John Young here at Foundational Health Clinic here in Largo, Florida. And today we're going to be talking about what I have learned from my patients about cognitive decline. You know, it's interesting that in one of my textbooks years ago, it said, if you talk to a patient long enough, they'll tell you what's going on. And that's why a lot of our appointments with these patients are not five minute appointments because I need to talk to the patient long enough to get an idea of what really is going on because eventually they'll tell you what's going on and it's much easier to fix them, make them better. So over the years, I've noticed with my patients that are on seizure medications, any of my seizure patients, that as they get older and they're on these drugs longer and longer periods of time, that they have cognitive decline. The memory starts to go, uh, behaviors start to change, decline. In other words, there's a gradual decline in function. The other thing I learned is that when you're looking at these seizure medications, most of my patients are on two to three seizure medications. The more seizure medications you are on, the greater the likelihood of cognitive decline. The other thing is that when you're looking at these studies by the companies that make these drugs, some of these studies are 12 days long, eight weeks long. The longest one I've seen is a year long. But I'm seeing patients that have been on these drugs for 10, 15, 20, 30 years. I know of one patient that started on seizure medications in his early 30s, 20s, early 20s, and he's close to 50, and honestly, just it's just sad to see the decline in his functioning. And so I started to really look into this and, you know, patients are telling me or the family is telling me, you know, but if they're not on the seizure medication, you know, then they have all these seizures and it's just very hard to deal with, you know, my son or my daughter. And I understand that completely. So everything here in America seems to be after the fact, you know, oh, you've had the seizures. Now, what drugs can we get you, give you, that are gonna decrease the amount of seizures so that you can function, which is great. Now remember, anti-seizure medication, it does not stop seizures, it just lowers them so that the people don't recognize it, it's going on. So I think of two great cases in my practice that have really affected how I'm going about treating seizures now. One was a, uh, a young girl, about seven, eight years of age, <clears throat> who was born with seizures, in fact, had seizures in utero. It's a genetic problem. The genes have kind of said, this is it, you know, you're gonna have seizures. And so you're talking about seizures, 10, 20, 30, 40 a day. And this can be also very dangerous. So she's on a number of seizure meds and it's made a huge difference in their life. But the child really is going nowhere. So they came to see me. So I did some research and they were de desperate. And I said, here's what we could try. We could try giving your child some stem cells, get them into the brain and there's a certain way to do that and see what happens. And they were said, we're up for that. Because the medication just makes her sleepy all the time and you know, we can't do anything with our child. We wanna interact with our child, we can't do that. So we did it. And then after a while I said to the, uh, the parents, you know, how are we gonna see if we were successful? Are you gonna stop the medicine? Oh, if we stop it, she may have seizures. I mean, they were just, they were afraid to stop it, and I can understand that. So they waited a year and had a follow-up with their neurologist, pediatric neurologist. Neurolo neurologist did an EEG, looking at the electrical activity in the brain and said, oh, what have you done? Nothing. Well, she has no seizures. 
Well, because she's on seizure medication. No, 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 no. Seizure medication drops the threshold so you don't see them, but there's still the activity going on in the brain. She has no seizure activity whatsoever. So they mentioned that they'd given the daughter stem cells. The pediatrician was very upset, very upset. Thought that was just terrible. Uh, but the family was like, but she has no seizures. They stopped the medication. She's been off medication for about three, three and a half years. No seizures, doing well. Now this is a person, probably the worst case, because genetically she's programmed to have seizures. Reverse them. Have another patient of mine who, uh, very, very healthy, super athlete, and um, had a, a brain tumor. And after the surgery, which saved his life, um, started to develop seizures. And went on for a year or two, went to a special institute. They followed him for seven days, just observed him at the hospital. And the seizures came from where the scar tissue was from the brain surgery. So they load him up on seizure medication and it did help. But I noticed when I would talk to him that he wasn't, he wasn't as sharp as he was. Athletic performance wasn't as good as it was. Uh, and he didn't like the way his mood was with his peers and his wife and all of that. And he knew something was wrong, but he was deathly afraid of the seizures. So um, we've been treating him just a few months now. And uh, it's been about two months since he got the stem cells. And we gave it through, you know, the vertebral vascular system, which I don't think no one uh, here in America or in the world gives it that way. And uh, <clears throat> seizures have gone from lasting 10 to 15 minutes now to lasting about two minutes. The uh, amplitude is much, much diminished. The, um, the post-ictal or post-seizure phase, it's much, much shorter. And here after eight weeks, already he can tell a huge difference. Also, his brain fog is gone. Mental acuity is much better. And now he's going to be going back to see his neurologist, and we're hoping in the next month or two to be able to stop his seizure medication completely. But I want to just really let you all know that there is hope that seizure medication may not be something that you have to take for your lifetime, that there are possibilities out there that you can actually correct that because with this fella. Remember, stem cells revert scar tissue back to normal tissue. And that's what he had. That's where seizures, seizures were from. It was from that scar tissue. So there's a lot of interesting things coming up in this whole world of neurophysiology and biochemistry of the brain. Um, and we will try to keep you up to date on that. But listen, there is hope and I'm glad to share this with you all.